Hello guys, welcome to a new video. I'm going to share with you some interesting things about Silent Hill 3 that you may not know. So let's start. In the intro video, the carousel is similar to the symbol that we use to save our game. In the beginning of the game, if you don't want to finish the nightmare segment, you just need to let Heather die and she will wake up. In the beginning of the game, Heather is in a fast food restaurant called Happy Burger. In one of Buffy's Vampire Slayer episodes, you also find a fast food with the same name. The woman that Heather sees being hidden by the closer is actually Angela from Silent Hill 2. They reuse her model. Just after this first enemy encounter, we find a poster with a close-up of Angela's face with the title Hill 2. If we look closely, we will also see James, Maria and Laura's faces. For this easter egg, you don't need a save file of Silent Hill 2. After the first boss fight and returning into the real world, we can find a store called News Boys that has a logo that is very similar to a Pac-Man with a baseball cap. In the alternate version of the mall, in the toilet where someone knocks back, check the other toilet and you will have an extra cutscene that is a reference to Silent Hill 2. Oh, forget it. This is way too gross. Who would even think of doing something so disgusting? The thing is that this only works on PlayStation 2 and PlayStation 3 versions. I have found someone saying that you can also get it in the PC version in an extra new game. I've tried that and it didn't work for me. In the subway, Heather needs to find a place called Bergen. I don't know if I said that right, but called Bergen Street that has the same name as the subway that appears in a movie called Jacob's Letter. And it's not only that, the protagonist also has some similar experiences in that place. Before entering Heather's house, if we check the mailbox, she will say that there is no letter from a dead wife. This is another reference to Silent Hill 2, where the protagonist, James, receives a letter from his dead wife. You only get this with the Silent Hill 2 save games in the PlayStation versions, just like the toilet scene. A lot of people know this, but in case you are one of those people who don't know, the model used for Harry in the chair was the model of James in Silent Hill 2. In Heather's house, we can find a drawing of three girls, two brunettes and a blonde. Can it be Alessa, Heather and Cheryl? Or maybe Harry's wife with Cheryl and Heather? What do you think? Douglas says he went to Silent Hill to look for a missing person. That may probably be James Sunderland from Silent Hill 2. But now... You've been there? Once, on a missing persons case. Never did find him. In the hospital reception, we can find a poster that says Gonna Beach in the Sea. I thought it was funny. Maybe I shouldn't thought that, because my English... It's also not really great. In room S1, we can find an image of Maria on the cover of the Silent Hill Times magazine. It's kinda hard to spot. The image with a smile seems to be Marilyn Monroe. There is also the phrase, what a wonderful world, that it seems to be inspired by the phrase, it's a wonderful life from the exercised tree. If you go to the Broken Heaven Hospital's rooftop and check the fans, Heather will make this comment. 
Once more, this is another reference to Silent Hill for being the same fence from where James falls. Again, you only get this on PlayStation with the Silent Hill 2 save. Joseph something, I'm not even going to try to say that, but his last name means writer in German. He is the guy who was imprisoned in room 302 in Silent Hill 4 before Harry. And why I'm talking about this? Well, this is because in the third floor on S1, there is an article written by him about an orphanage ruled by the Horder of Silent Hill, where weird things happen. Well, in Silent Hill it's always weird. The mirror trap can be a foreshadowing of the memory of Alessa. We also know that Heather is afraid of mirrors. There is also a room where you find a card about a birthday that mentions the numbers 7, 14 and 17, which are the ages of Cheryl, Alessa and Heather. Did you know that exists a code that lets us see Douglas appearing in-game without pants? I don't know why someone would want to see Douglas in boxers, but in case you are interested, you first need to complete the game, then highlight the extra new game and press the following codes. Then after choosing the difficulty, we will hear a woman's sigh. That means it worked. Heather Mason got her name from Heather Morris, the person who voiced her in the, the motion cap. Claudia was supposed to have a shaved head and tattoos, but they changed her to a simple design to not be so obvious that she was evil. When we get the Princess Heart outfit on PlayStation 3 and Xbox, we earn a trophy called Where is Luna? This is a reference to a magical cat from Sailor Moon that seems to be the inspiration for this costume. Well, actually the costume is really different, so maybe it's more the transformation, it's really similar. Did you know that when you are inside of the metro, you can go back and there Heather actually throws herself into the rail, which is really stupid and I, I was really surprised when that happened. <laughs> I noticed also something interesting, in the store with, I think it's DVDs and books and stuff like that, that you find in the mall, there is an image there in the wall that has two, two eyes, which is normal to show two eyes, of a woman. And I noticed that on the PC version, I got the some creepy eyes that also appear in another um, wall of the same place. But in the PS3 version, the um, AG collection, I actually noticed that the poster was different. It's actually Maria's eyes and I, I don't know why this happens, why it's different. And those were all the things that I found about Silent Hill 3. I would love to know if you discover new things in this video. If you did, please share it in the comments. And if you're new, don't forget to subscribe for more videos and leave a like to help the video reach more people. Until next time, bye bye!